Did you know that a new gold ETF is up 72% this year alone? What does that mean? That's ridiculous. 72% return on the new gold ETF. A financial asset in Nigeria, 72%. I need to remind you guys here that the average rate on treasury bills is about 3%. And inflation is 12%, 12.8% to be specific, which means that already investors are making negative returns by investing in treasury bills. And that's not, that's not the only thing. There are a lot of financial assets that don't give you up to 12%. And I'm here telling you about an asset called the New Gold ETF that has returned 72% this year alone, according to data from the Securities Exchange Commission and the Nigerian Stock Exchange. That's ridiculous. Oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Lolade Akinwele. Um, I'm an assistant editor at Business Day, but come on, all of those things don't matter. I know why you're here and I know why I'm here. It's not to introduce myself, really, to tell you about the investment opportunities in the market. Allow me to welcome you to the show today called The Ultimate Money Show, where we talk about opportunities for investors, especially young investors, millennials. You would agree with me that, I mean, financial literacy is not very high in Nigeria. And there are quite a number of millennials and young people out there that would like to get a sense of what to invest in so they can grow their money, grow wealth and all of that. I mean, this is not to say the old guys are not allowed to be a part of this show. You can't be, but I'm just saying that, you know, that's what we're trying to address with this show. Um, back to the gold ETF. What's an ETF? An ETF is simply an extra traded fund. Now, the gold ETF is not just any ETF, but one that is backed by gold. So let's talk about why there's, there's been a rally in the ETF this year in the first place. Why is that? Okay. Gold prices are up 32% year to date. What is driving that rally? Of course, you know, we know about the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic, and how it has upended global financial markets. Investors are spooked right now by that. You know, and whenever you have a period, I mean, we all know as well that that has led to record economic contractions in so many countries. I mean, the United States contracted by 32% in the second quarter of 2020. That's the most since the Great Depression in 1930. Figure that out. That's huge. The UK as well contracted by 20%. I mean, quite a lot of... So you find that in periods where you have an economic downturn, investors tend to go into assets that are safe haven assets. Gold happens to be one of them. And that's why gold prices have rallied this year. Because a lot of investors who are not... They, I mean, they don't have the stomach for the kind of risk that's in the market today because of the COVID-19 pandemic and what it has done to different economies and currencies. And they simply are just rotating to gold. And that has rubbed off on the gold ETF. Now, the new gold ETF is listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange, but managed by APSA, the South African company, APSA. Let's talk more about the new gold ETF and how it is becoming the new game in town in Nigeria, having more or less displaced treasury bills because of the lower yields. I mean, in 2016, I remember that the yields on treasury bills but double digits. In fact, it hit a record high of 21% in 2017. And you know, that period, a lot of Nigerians were just investing in treasury bills. A lot of young people, people that didn't even know much about investment because a friend who knew a friend had told them to invest because it was returning quite pretty much high. And it made sense, the attraction, you know, because this is a federal government backed security, which means you're not taking any risk at all and you're making 21% return, which is yummy. But this year, what has happened to yields? They've collapsed, you know on the back of a couple of policies by the central bank that has really helped to moderate interest rates. A lot of people will say that there's a lot of financial repression in Nigeria, but really, that aside, the net asset value of the gold ETF has risen from about 700 million naira, the net asset value, to 14 billion naira. That's like a 24-fold jump in the space of one year. Yeah, because a lot of Nigerians are beginning to see the opportunity there. I mean, that's high return. That's high return. So I'm just here telling you guys about how, you know, this is, this is an emerging market trend. It's an emerging investment trend. You probably need to look at that. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that if you invest in that today, you're going to get 72% in another one year or, or all of that again. I mean, who knows what the market can do. But one thing I know for sure is that so long as the outlook for gold prices remain quite optimistic, then of course, the gold ETF will definitely ride on the back of rallying gold prices. And yeah, you might make some return, might not be up to 72%, given that a lot of people have already started taking positions and uh, the global economy is maybe starting to recover from the financial and economic downturn, but still doesn't mean you can't make a higher return than inflation by investing in that gold ETF. Yeah. In fact, the opportunities in the gold ETF are enormous, so much so that the chief executive officer of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Oscar Onyema, said that 
investors were already beginning to take more interest in the gold ETF. And he even canvassed it as a very, very profitable investment option for anyone out there that's looking to make returns higher than inflation. So, oh, come on, what are you waiting for? So let's talk about some frequently asked questions. First question is people ask, what's the difference between an ETF and shares? Is there really a difference? Well, of course there are differences, technical differences, but at the end of the day, the mode of investment is the same. The way you have equities listed on the Nigerian stock exchange is just the way you have the gold ETF listed. So buying, the, investing in a new gold ETF is like, yeah, I mean, it's as simple as contacting your stock broker. Or you might want to do it yourself if you have one of the applications of the popular stock broking firms around. So it's simply, just like investing in shares. Another frequently asked question is, is there a minimum amount that I need to invest to be able to, you know, take advantage of the gold ETF? Guess what? No, it's like shares. You can buy any amount you want, depending on the money you have in your pocket. So there's no barrier. There's nothing like a minimum amount or stuff like that. So no, you don't need to worry about that. Final question is, what is a gold ETF? Gold ETF, it's still like you're investing in gold, but this time in electronic form. So you're not necessarily investing in the physical asset, but the, but the ETF is tied, the fortunes of the ETF is tied to or linked to that of gold. So, I mean, the movement in gold prices tends to affect the movement in the price per unit of a gold ETF. I hope that answers all your questions. If you have more questions, get across to me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, any social media platform you're on and let's get talking and let's start making some money. Now, don't go by all I've said, really. You still need to sit down and get advice from a professional, a professional investment banker who will then put you through all of the little details that I must have missed out because 72% still playing in my head. So, at the end of the day, you need to get that advice. Don't just go, oh, because I heard one guy, one guy called, what are they talking about? That, nah, but this should be a trigger for you to ask more questions about the new gold ETF and see if it's the right investment asset for you. And come on, take the opportunity and let's make this money. That's all I have for you today. Catch me next week. Bye.